Hiya everyone, I'm Wizzy Keeping Well. As promised, we're going to have a look at this Fenix bag. So that's a shop that we've got in Eldon Square here in Newcastle. And I love it. I love it. It's like a massive department store. You've got John Lewis, this one, then my two favourites for like all your big beauty counters, your high-end makeup brands. So I've got something in here that I've never used before. I've never used this brand before. I've got my glasses on today because I'm in a lot of pain. My eyes are hurting, like burning, hurting and strained. I've never stopped since I saw you this morning. I've been up doing my work. And I'm going to chill out now, get this done, get it uploaded and then I'm off out with the twins. So I hope you enjoy this video. Ready? I wish, I wish I'd come across it sooner, but here we go. Let's go. So it's a brand I've never used before, but I've always had my eyes on it. And it is, it's 20 London. I've always wanted to try them. I just never got around to it. So I got... I'll give I'll show you what I got. Some bits and bobs. We'll go through them all, okay? There's a few different ones in there. Some of them were meant to be on sale. Some of them said they were on sale, but when I got to the counter, I had got charged extra because they weren't on sale anymore. So I don't even know the prices of them. It's on the receipt. I'll have a look afterwards. But I got I picked like some lips, lip products, some lip to cheeks. I love me creamy lip to cheeks, as you know. I absolutely love that kind of stuff. So this is one of the ones I got, and this is just your lip balm. So this is Talis, and I, and I just thought it looked absolutely lovely. I'm going to do some swatches for you. I'm going to rush through them quickly, and then I'm going to do a makeup look and get out of here. Yes, so this is Talis. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's a gorgeous one. I love the packaging. I wish I could remember the prices. I got me a receipt somewhere. Let's have a look. Is that it? No, that's not it. Ah, right, yes. So, oh, that's the wrong one. Where's the actual? Ah, there it is. It's in the bag, man, dear me. So, these, the lips were, lip to cheek, lip glow. This was £24. £24. Is that right? Yes. It's for... The way the receipt is, it's really weird because some of them were on offer, some of them weren't. And then, like I said, the when I got to the count, that was I felt really awkward because I had to get I had to pay some extra because the charge does wrong because something was meant to be on offer, but then it wasn't. So they've done like an exchangey thing. I don't know the prices. I'll have a look on the website for you. But there, Talis, gorgeous. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the. So it's if you can see like a papa juicy i'm putting this on because this is the one i've decided i'm going to wear anyway it is beautiful i'm a proper fan of like lip balm lip color if you know if you know what i mean like that kind of thing look how just gentle nice isn't it it's like i've been eating strawberries that's what stood out to me about that one. I loved the colour. I was like, get me, get me. It's vibrant. It's beautiful. So I've got a few different ones to try. I bought these. I haven't been sent them or anything. That's what we've got. Let's get the next ones out. So next up, this one is, hang on, eyes. You're going to like this one. This is like a wild card. So I was going to go all plainy, plainy and get the basics in, but that's not me. So I've got this look. This is for your eyes. Hang on. And I've already had my finger in it to show my friend Joanne because we're having a good look at them. So this one is Fortude. Is it Fortude? Yeah, Fortude. And it's the eye to eye. Look at this. I'll do a swatch on the back of my hand for you. Oh gosh. You don't need a lot. And I haven't done it very good for you there. Let's have a good look. Look how creamy and beautiful that is i'm looking forward to trying that out and the reason i've chose such a dark color is because i think that's going to make my eyes pop it's a beautiful dark copper sheer shimmer once we get going i'm going to show you in the palette there it goes well once we get going and we'll have a good little play with these on the makeup tutorials you'll see it all come together i don't think my hand there is doing a good job of showing you in the shop it was like buy me buy me it looked beautiful 
clean up as I go with my, my wipes. I'm trying to keep on top of the time for this one and all. Okay, so this is another eye to eye eye shade. This one's Moon. And I looked at it and thought, wow, it's so beautiful. I want the stuff that I don't have as well because I've got loads of shades. I've got so much Be Perfect makeup that I just love. I didn't want to like cross colour. So this, I don't think I've got anything like it. It's called Moon and it is beautiful. Look at this. It's like a silvery blue. I love my pale colours. I love my blues. I love my sagey green. It's, it's kind of silver, sage green, blue. I can see loads going on there. I'm going to pop a bit on the hand there. There we go. Look at that. You know, for those days where you just want a chilled, calm look, I think this is going to be absolutely perfect, by the way. Or even, you know, if you've got like a really beautiful, smoky look and then you add a pop of that into the middle of your eye, we'll do something with that. So that's Moon. And it's gorgeous. Honestly, you should have seen the state of my hand. I had all different sorts on. There's a load. I didn't touch the smoky. There's a whole smoky section of eyes. There was the black one and there's like an olive green that I really wanted. But I did buy a lot, yeah. So I spent quite a bit at this point on these. And I didn't want to get any more. I just want to try them out first before I go back and buy them. But I thought to get we going and get us used to the brand, I thought it's a nice little selection. This one is the Shia Shimmer and Mama. Now wait till you see this. This is a lip. Lip? Hang on, lip to cheek. Yeah, I'm glad it is because look at it. Watch the colour. This is Mama and it's lip to cheek. And you know me for me corals, me oranges, and I just love this kind of stuff. So let's put a bit of this on my cheek and then I can just quickly put some foundation over it and then start again. But I just want to show you, look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? We're just on the back of the hand for now and then we'll go in, look. Look how juicy and look at the gold in there there's gold shimmer beautiful i love creamy products i'm a creamy product addict i love creamy products i mean i've got them all elf i love this kind of stuff i've got the pink one and a lighter one i need to open this one and try it i love me be perfect creamy i just love creamy products they make you just feel creamy <laughs> do you know what i mean not like dry and powdered and caked because I tend to get like that. I've noticed me, especially around my eyes and stuff. Anyway, let's go. So we've got this one here. This is Eye to Eye and this is Hope. And I think you're going to love the colour. It's just so beautiful. Have a little look at this thing. This is one of them ones that just stood out to us. I thought you're coming with me. You're such a pretty little colour for the eyes. See, again, there's a shimmer in this. You can stack them as well, which I like. I need to stack them in here and I can keep them all together because I keep losing stuff. Look at this one. Sorry, I'm not like holding it up for YouTube. So we'll go across there for your little, look at that. So that's hope. I'm not doing a very good, I feel like I'm not. I don't know if it just looked different in the shop with the lights, but it's quite gentle actually now that I'm looking at it again. That was one of the ones I was excited about because it looked like bang, like proper shimmery. But I feel like I'm not getting that shimmer bang that I got in the store. I don't know. Maybe it's just the lighting in here. But I'm looking forward to trying this one especially. Because I love my pastel, my pinks, my peaches, me, me, yeah. Or my like red toned. I love it. They make your blue and green eyes pop. And then if you want them to like have brown eyes pop in you, you're like looking at your lavenders and your violets. And blue, like a, an electric blue can be striking on a brown eye. Oh, and your golden olives oh, can get carried away, carried away. I just love eyes and makeup. If, you are, if I ever bump into you in the street, by the way, and you're talking to us, I'll be having a good look at your eyes thinking, right, well, I know what to put on your face and stuff, because that's what I do. I don't want to, like, have anxiety when you talk to us or out, but that's what I do. I like a good look. Justice, you ready? So this is the eye to eye. Another eye to eye. And this is... Your plain basic. We needed a plain basic. I've got to at least try it. So I've got me my crazy colours. Well, I'm saying crazy. Me bright red, fortitude, and the hope, which I think is really cute. This one here is Justice. And I've cleaned the back of my hand ready for it so you can have a good look. See how it's very, very, very simple. There's not a lot going on, but that's good. 
it's a nice option for a background before you put your crazy colours on top. Put that on first, put a bit of eyeshadow on if you wanted as well. It's a nice little gentle background. Obviously, depending on what your skin tone is, there was loads of these ones, the matte, I call them matte, but they've just got no shimmer in. They like the nice and creamy base with no shimmer. So there's loads of them ones. In time, I might go back and find some, but for now, this will do. A little goes a long way, it really does as well. So let's go lip to cheek again. Lip to cheek. So I've got two lip to cheeks, one lip, and I think five of the eyeshadows. So this one is VB, and I just thought, wow. So this is a lip to cheek. The mama is more like shimmery and stuff for your cheeks and lips. I just love that. Look at that. That's for my lips and cheeks. That's going to be absolutely lush. I say lush a lot, but I'm feeling proper lushy here. Look at it. It's like, it's like a very gentle peachy. It's got slightly like terracotta slightly. I like that. I just, it's, I, what I do is I'll just go and something stands out. I wanted to get Charlotte Tilbury. There was a little blue eyeshadow. There's blue and a green. I had it on the back of my hand. Both were not in stock obviously because i like it so it's the same i must have good taste but i want to get that so i might i might have a little hunt for that one as well but so far that was my little thanks haul my little trini london Woo! there's the door bear with <laughs> i'm not going to cut that dog doesn't half like a good bark it's martin's fish and stuff so there we go happy days Hope you have enjoyed watching me little videos with me new Trini London stuff. Can't wait to try these out. Let's quickly put a makeup look on and finish this off. Then I've got to get out the house fast. Go meet the twins. Put my glasses back on and all. I'm wondering, I don't want foundation on there if I'm going to do that. Right, we're going to go completely creamy, creamy. Now use me. Where's my vitamin E? I've been using this, I love it. We'll stick a bit of this on. This is the Alpha H Vitamin E. Sorry, I'm not even holding it up. My YouTube's not going to even get to see. Sorry. Alpha H. Lovely. Vitamin E. If I can get it on. Okay. Mm, I'm enjoying this underneath stuff. It's got a lovely feeling to it. And I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's just placebo, but it feels fresh. It feels like it's sink. I feel like my skin's drinking it. I do like this. So that's the vitamin E. Get that cleaned up off the bench. Okay, now I'm going to use this. This is the Be Perfect Champagne Glow Perfection Primer. There was a black, there's a black one and all, a black um, package and one. Doesn't mean anything other than it's a Christmas gift set one. So just in case you've got a black one, it's not a problem. There's black and brown packaging for this one. This is, um, yeah, it's illuminating primer. I love it. I'm going to show you on the back of my hand. Look at it. It's just beautiful. So I'm popping that on. Um, I think it was Debbie that was asking about primers. She was wanting to know, is it important? What kind of primer? How do you know what to do? So basically, you've got products that are specifically primers. Like, for instance, this. You've got your colour primers, which is which are class as these. You've got this with like your, your, um, your medium soft glow, the illuminating, like a bit of a peach tone brown bronzer going on. You've got this with all your pink illuminous pearlescent finish in a bit like a rainbow. You can see it on the skin. It's beautiful. You've got that or you've got your straight up primers. For instance, hang on. Let's see if I can find. That's not, that's not a primer. For instance, you've got the Hydro Primer. This is a grip primer, so it's just clear. You're not going to get any of that luminescent coming through. You've got that option. A lot of people do that if they're going to go for... If you just want like a plain, clear look, looks gorgeous on if you're doing like the sun kiss look or the sun blush look where you're just using the, bron the bronze that it's called, where you bronze and you blush at the same time. And that's a good idea for that. Um, I prefer... 
a bit of something underneath that's why i use a lot of this and through this i need a new one this is be perfect if you do order from them i do have a code it's 20 percent off and it's lauren look bp for that one this euphoria is a good one as well um it's silicon free and you, it feels very buttery there's no smell to it and there's no color to it it's a nice little under primer and it keeps the longevity of your makeup so it'll help your foundation adhere to your skin kind of smooths out your pores you can get specifying ones like you can get a small a, um, a pore smoothing one show you so this one if you have got pores it does minimize it i put this on this is the l'oreal one and it literally feels like you've just smoothed in the cracks and you can see it you can see it just sits different on your skin then you've got this one for like anti-redness a green correct and tone in it as well you can put that on under your foundation so all these are ideal for under your foundation sometimes when i use the i think i confuse people when i'm using me naturally radiant moisture balms i'll put that on first before i put on me primer and i like putting on both on because i'm moisturizing my skin then i'm locking it in with me primer and then putting my foundation on whether that's how you're supposed to do it i don't know but i love my skin right now and i don't think i'd change it up i'm happy but that's just i hope debbie i've explained it a little bit better for you so i'm not putting foundation on today because i've got my glasses on and i don't want it all cloggy and horrible and um, i'm just out with the twins and they do not mind if I'm wearing makeup or not. They're proper accepting of me for who I am. So I'm going to go with that and enjoy myself. So let's get some VB. I think we'll do VB on the cheeks. We'll do the lips. And I want to put not justice, but I think I might go in with a little bit of hope. Let's put a bit of hope. There we go. We're going to try these three out right now and then I'll use my mascara. I'm going to put some bronzer on first just to really... Where is it? I've put all my brushes away because I'm trying to clear the desk up. For, it was for the sheen haul. I didn't want to get any makeup on my clothes. So I've put it all away. This is the bronzer and this is the Be Perfect. Now, a lot of people are putting that on with their blush in the same place. And it's like a blonze at. It's just like a really nice look. I've got to be honest. I've been doing a lot of that lately. Just putting it high up. I'm not putting it down here. Anything like that. Just leave it here. It just gives your face a lift. And it looks nice. Oh. Just make sure you go in your hairline. Because you don't want to leave that clear. But what I like to do is bring it over into the eye socket as well and it just thins out the side of your face so i'm really liking doing this at the moment i do it a lot and it's all about what works for you as well if you find a little technique that you like to do then do it there's no rules i've lost my lid where's my lid is that what dropped <sighs> must have been i can't find it I'm gonna leave that there until i find it somewhere where could it have gone you watch it it'll be right underneath us no nah, i can't find it okay ignore us we're not going with that let's get phoebe on the cheek ah there it is i told you <laughs> that's the lid i'm terrible i love this stuff i'm not going to have much left i keep going at it and going at it i'm really loving it that's the tan i've got tan and that's it there it's to be perfect it's gorgeous Let's go in with Phoebe on the cheeks. Let me show the cheek one. Yeah. You can use your finger, actually. I know what Trini does. I think she does, but I'm going to pop mine on my brush. Then I'm just going to pop a little bit up here. Oh, look at that. Look how it's just lifting and glowing. And you've got all that primer coming through to get the like healthy look. I, I do love the healthy look. There is, I tell you what, we'll, we'll do some looks with some plain primer just to show you. Again, I'm putting this up here. There is no rules and it looks quite nice layered over your bronzer. I like Vibi. Vibi's a nice colour. I can see this coming out a lot. I'm happy with that. Then let's get the lips on. I'm going to go with this one, Talus get a load on feels lovely 
There's absolutely no taste to it that I can taste. It's just nothing. It's freezing out there. There's loads of wind. I'm going to make this a really quick one. Let's get some hope on. Just a little gentle blush of it on this, my eyes. I'm going to just use my finger for this one. I hate having nails because you can never. I've got makeup under them and everything. Horrible. Ugh. There we go. So we're using hope. Just a quick wash of this one. Look how bright. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I can't see a mirror, by the way. So if I look a bit goofy, it's because I'm not. I don't even know what I'm looking at. That's that's nice. That's lovely. That look how just yeah. I'm I like. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that primer further down. So my neck looking a little bit light compared to my face. So what I'll do is take my foundation brush. And I'm just gonna just do this. Just to kind of finish off. So that was hope on the eyes. Hope you can see. <laughs> hope. I hope you can. Right, mascara, where are you? I want to you there it is. No, it isn't. Where is it? Intensify. This stuff, I love it. This is been perfect. Look at it. Need me mirror for this bit. Where's my mirror? I did have it. There it is. Okay. Off we go. Oh, I love that. Now I can have a good look. See, I hadn't put it all properly. I love the colour. And it looks nice on my green eyes. It's got like an orangey tone, peachy orange tone to it. Lovely. So this is the Be Perfect Intensify. Oh. I think I'm going to go up, up, up. Look how long that thing is. I need to get the rest that long. How is that gone like that? Too long. That's a bit better, isn't it? I think I might have pulled some lashes out when I've been cleaning them last night. There we go. It's looking a bit thin. Right, and the next eye. I'm liking this look. It's fresh. Sometimes fresh and less is more. I'm just having to pull my face down now because things get a bit old, you know. I feel like there's a deep gap. It's a bit better. Okay. So that's that one there. And it's, I don't know what it is about these metal tubes, but I quite like them. I've got a bit of a thing for them. There we go. We're done. I'm not doing my brows because I don't need to. I'm just letting it light and shiny in there. I hope you enjoyed this look. Hope you've enjoyed my little haul as well. Please follow, subscribe, leave a comment, like, share it. Please help as much as you can. Everything's appreciated, seriously. Because I've just started back on YouTube and I'm, I'm, I'm still new to Facebook. So all your help and support is like, it's huge to us. So thank you. I shall see you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom.